Hi, I'm Cody Levada from New York here in Toronto, Canada with Art Tour International at the Limitless Expressions Exhibition in the Studio Vogue Gallery. Vivid Arts Network is here in Toronto, Canada today with Studio Vogue Gallery and I'm here with Viviana Puello of Vivid Arts Network and Joyce Fournier of the Studio Vogue Gallery and I'm just here to ask them a couple questions. Viviana, I would just like you to tell me a little bit more about Vivid Arts Network. We are a network of about 150 artists. We organize exhibitions and usually our exhibitions are led by a cause or to create awareness and social issues. Our main locations are Florence and New York. Thanks to a great collaboration with Joyce, we came to Toronto, Canada, and we are presenting today Limitless Expressions, an international exhibition of about 21 artists, and uh, they're going to be here in a few minutes. Joyce, could you just tell us a little bit more about the Studio Vogue Gallery? Yes, thanks Cody. Um, Studio Vogue Gallery is a gallery in Toronto in one of uh, the area's top uh, art gallery districts. Uh, we've been in operation since 2008. We started with two artists uh, in 2008 and now in 2012 we represent over 30 artists from Canada and around the world. So uh, these would be artists that are uh, emerging artists and mid-career artists and really what we offer is a program of representation for artists who are looking to move their career, their art careers forward and are trying to get uh, exposure in the, um, in the art market here in Canada and in North America. And now I was just wondering if the two of you could talk about how you came to be working together and how Vivid Arts Network and the Studio Vogue Gallery got together to work on this exhibition. We um, met during an exhibition in Florence. I was very impressed by Joyce's work and invited her to one of our events. I love the way um, she works and I knew that there was a connection and, and uh, an affinity of, you know, on, on the way that we work and the goals. And, and how much we care for the artists, because we both are artists. So that's kind of how the idea of Limitless Expressions was born. Do you want to add something? Meeting you in Florence uh, was a wonderful, uh, wonderful experience, and participating in the Symphony of Colors, which was my first exhibition with the Vivid Arts Network, uh, was a great experience, uh, meeting a lot of the artists from other parts of the world. And uh, just great because I work very similarly to Viviana. Um, I'm really an artist advocate. I try to guide artists uh, as to how to move their career forward um, because I've had to do it all myself uh, for my own for my own art career. And so we met Viviana and I. We spoke a little bit about perhaps coming together and forming some sort of collaboration to try to bring the Vivid Arts Network here to Canada. And so here we are today uh, for our opening uh, event. You mentioned earlier that um, both of your organizations like to bring about awareness of social issues that have impacted society. So could one of you just explain what this exhibition is currently dedicated to working towards? On the Limitless Expressions exhibition we are um, trying and putting all our efforts and part of the proceeds of the sales are going to go towards the victims of the earthquake in Ferrara. Part of the staff of the Vivid Arts Network and myself are there. During the event of earth vortices, the earthquake took place. There are about 20,000 people right now without a house. They're homeless. When I presented this idea, when, when I told um, Joyce about what happened over there, we both agreed on uh, helping Ferrara on on our efforts on this on this event. Yes, it gives uh, us great pleasure here at Studio Vogue Gallery to be able to um, support this great cause uh, with regards to the restoration of Ferrara and to help uh, the victims of the earthquake. Um, we take for granted so very often living in Toronto that we're not subjected to natural disasters generally and so when we see them happening around us we feel 
obliged to certainly contribute and uh, and do what we can to help. And it's it's especially fitting in Toronto as Toronto has the second highest population of Italians uh, after Italy. So it's it's very important to us here in Toronto. Well, you both mentioned earlier that you're both artists. So could both of you just explain how you've gotten to this point and how you formed your careers over the past several years? Well, thanks, Cody. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm pleased to say that uh, I'm finally able to pursue my passion for art on a full-time basis. Um, I spent uh, many years as a child drawing and painting and um, really enjoying art. However, in order to make a living, I ended up studying science. I ended up going into nursing and I spent many, many years in, in that field. And then I studied business and I spent many years working with my medical background in the business world, always realizing that I wanted to fulfill my dream of, of following my own art passion. I started taking classes uh, while I was working in business and eventually one day I just said that was enough for me and I started working as a full-time artist. I was getting out, marketing myself, uh, starting to do international shows, building up my portfolio and then five years ago I opened up Studio Vogue Gallery so that I could showcase my own work and as it happens we spend most of our time having artists from all over the world showcase their work and occasionally I do do a solo show so uh, it's kind of the best of both worlds for me and it's been a lot of fun. Since I was a child art's been a passion. I went to study business administration and across the street from the university there was an art school so what I did was I fulfilled uh, my, my family's desire of starting this career and at the same time I was starting art on the other side hitting from everybody and after about 10 years of working as a full-time artist I uh, started tutoring friends and that's how Vivid Arts Network came to life, really, uh, by helping, by guiding, um, really spontaneously. A year ago, uh, in our efforts to improve the marketing, we partnered with Artur International, and uh, you know we're doing more and more. I'm really grateful for Joyce because it's opened up a new door for us, uh, which at, at the end, I think, is our goal to work together, to build bridges so that the artists who are looking to, to travel or to expose their works in different locations are able to do that. So we hope that in the future we can have more, uh, that our network is not just limited to artists but to organizations uh, and we can all work together with the same goal. So the both of you have already done so much with both of your organizations. Do you have any goals for the future? Like what's next for both of you? So thanks for that question, Cody. Uh, yes, we're really happy with where we are now, but there's always room for improvement. So we're looking to, I guess, streamline our exhibition schedule uh, for the upcoming years. Uh, we tend to book six to 12 months in advance. And of course, now with our wonderful collaboration with the Vivid Arts Network and Viviana Puello, uh, we'd like to be able to fit that into our annual schedule as well. And so we can offer the opportunity to more artists uh, from the Vivid Arts Network to come and visit Toronto. Moving forward, just um, keep going. I think that, uh, like Joyce said, there's always room for improvement. There's always room for growth, giving more opportunities to more artists. I think uh, coming back to Toronto is absolutely in the future. This is just the first of many, many collaborations here, and, and I know it. And we'll be uh, probably networking and collaborating with Art Tour International a lot more. Art to Heart interviews are going to continue to the artists. All right, thank you guys both very much for all your time. And I hope that the exhibition goes well. And I wish you guys both the best of luck in the future. Thank you. Thanks, Cody.